stay like in the moment right now. But um, you know, I, I could probably do it again if I if I got in the shape for it and uh, you know, train towards being a starter. I could probably do it. Talk about you know how much attention you've gotten from that closer's role. I mean, it's like a role that you kind of assumed last year, but it seemed like it, it fits you perfectly. Yeah, um, like I was just telling him a minute ago, I just kind of like uh, when I got here, I didn't want to be the closer. I didn't know you know much about closing the game. I was a starter my whole life. And, mm -hmm. I got here, worked a little bit. I got the opportunity to, to close the game at Alabama last year. And, and then after that, like, I fell in love with it, with, with the pressure, pressure situations and stuff like that. And, um, and I just fell in love. It seemed like you've kind of really embraced that role too. I mean, ever since you assumed it. I mean, how much of your look and the song and everything that everything that goes into your whole routine, how much of that is just kind of getting in that closer mentality? Uh, you know, I, uh, it's not really playing a role. It's, it's kind of like uh, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna give it the best. And uh, so, you know, whatever, it, whatever it means uh, to to have long hair, have a good you know, be scary looking. You know, if being scary looking, I make you a close. And, and uh, I think anybody can do it. So I, I think, uh, you know, it, it has a lot to do with Coach Thompson and Coach Neal and the mental aspect more than the physical appearance. How much more comfortable are you this time, you know, through the postseason than you were maybe a year ago, just having that year of experience under your belt and knowing kind of what to expect? I mean, even though you hadn't been in a super regional scenario, you at least have a little bit of postseason experience. Yeah, I mean, the regional last year was, was an awesome experience down in uh, Florida State. And, and, um, you know, I didn't really have my best stuff down there last year and uh, gave a few runs and then they happened uh, to cost us. So, uh, you know, I, I, this year I was a lot more relaxed in a regional. I've never been to a super regional. I hear it's, it's fun, but, you know, the game of baseball is just fun. And, and I think um, any team, no matter how good you are, if you get uh, tight and tense and nervous, you're just not going to play your best. So, I, you know, I, I hope we can uh, just go out there and relax and have fun and play good ball. How much film do you watch of yourself on the mound and, and just seeing kind of those hitters' knees buckle, you know, when you throw that 12-6 on them and, and it kind of just drops in there and they think it, you know, it's a ball and then it just drops right in there? Yeah, we usually, uh, I, I don't really like uh, correcting stuff unless it needs to be corrected. Like, like the last time I threw, uh, you know, I had a little mechanical flaw and I, I went to Coach Thompson, we watched the video and, and uh, you know, figured a few things out mechanically because late in the year you tend to get tired, your body physically gets tired. And uh, that's where really being mentally tough comes into play. Is, you know, if we played, what, like 65 games or something, mm -hmm. um, everybody's bodies are tired. But you just can't, you can't play like they are. Is that when adrenaline just kind of kicks in? Yeah, that's, that's when you just got to you play off of it. But, but I've learned from experience last year, you can't play with it, you got to channel it through to, to a better like focus point. So instead of playing by adrenaline, I play with it, you know, focused in.